Hey there, Brent here again, and uh, this time I'm going to be uh, jumping back to episode one, uh, dealing with some of the artwork of Doug Chang. Uh, this particular box set of his artwork, uh, similar to the Ralph McQuarrie works, uh, came out in 1999. Uh, it's a beautiful box set. It came in this wonderful silver chrome uh, casing, uh, very much like Aladala's uh, starship that she had in episode one. Um, it's all engraved, this beautiful embroised work that's up here. And inside there happens to be a small forward by Doug Chang, the production designer of Star Wars Episode I, uh, explaining the form of style of artwork that he did uh, to create some of this art. And who is Doug Chang exactly? Well, Doug Chang is in fact uh, someone who took about a year prior to Star Wars Episode I beginning production. Who? developed and designed his own style to promote himself to become the applicant for the production designer of the new Star Wars era. He and George Lucas formed a key set of themes for designing this new prequel era. Some of the artwork that he did uh, was, was, was beautifully, beautifully painted and very much in respect of Ralph McQuarrie who came before him in, in the style of the look of the universe that uh, George Lucas was trying to create. Steady, steady. So what George Lucas and Doug Chang came up with was a concept of idea of what this new world would look like 30 years or so in the past. And they ended up by going up with a Art Nouveau style of look and design uh, to show that it was a golden era of the Star Wars universe where the original classic trilogy was more in the 70s, more kind of mass-produced kind of look and feel to it, a lot more clunkier. So this new design, this new classical era um, came up with this new artwork. Below I put a link to a YouTube video, Doug Chang, The Evolution of Star Wars Design. It is a fascinating watch and a real must for anybody who is a Star Wars fan in understanding why choices were made in episode one as to the style and the look compared to the difference of what they did for the original trilogy. Uh, absolutely fascinating, worth the watch. These artworks are quite beautiful pieces and, uh, and honestly, it's like, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's wish, I just wish I had the chance to frame these up on the wall somewhere. <laughs> So another part of what Doug Chang also did was he took a lot of designs from Afrikaans kind of style of uh, statuettes, things like that, uh, that inspired him. He also went through, ended up by looking at other modern day elements as well as uh, some form of uh, animals, creatures that took form in the shape of the droids and the style of this world. Uh, the idea that this world could be expanded upon and kept very Nauvoo style was part of his idea. I love the line work. I love the color, the use of color in the paintings. Um, I feel that uh, there's this incredible element of, of uh, beauty and wonder. <laughs> The, the fact that all of the scenes, all, all of the movie of episode one was based around these images, trying to make it feel like this world is you know, part of the prequels. <laughs> this last image, the Naboo fighter is probably one of my most favorite designs of his work. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll bring some more videos within the coming week. Have a great day, everybody. Psst.